Hey guys, me again. I wanted to show you a project we're doing. It's not the project I was talking about, but it is a project. So behind me, you'll see these forms. There's five of them. Um, let me show you inside the holes. So you can see, dug pretty deep below the frost line, which we are 32 here. So I believe they're 36 um, inches deep, filled with rebar. We got the okay and the approval to start with the cement. So as you can see behind me, there's a lot of trees. Um, right beyond those trees is the driveway. And the driveway is pretty narrow, but there is a lot of trees and not a lot of spot, a lot of stumps in the front for a truck to get by. So I'm gonna show you where the truck dumped the cement and how much cement there actually is. We had gotten this new mud mixer, it's called. It's this, I guess it's like fairly new, I don't know. We just heard about it maybe a couple months ago, but it makes cement so much easier. It all pre-mixes the water for you. All you gotta do is throw the dry bags on the top. It kind of breaks the bags, mixes the water, and it has a funnel, like a chute, and it shoots it out. It's really nice, so it should make the job a little bit easier um, because we weren't sure that a cement truck would be able to get back here just with the ground being soft with all the rain that we had and with the narrowness of the driveway and the trees in the way um, we're not sure that a cement truck would even be able to get in here and we've had an experience where a cement truck had stopped on our property sunk got stuck had to dump the cement on the ground and we were like five hours shoveling cement and putting them into the holes as not to waste it, which of course it did harden and we did waste some and we had to go get another load. So we didn't want to do that again. But every time you're doing something, a project, something happens. There's always something that happens. Um, and I'll, ours was the delivery. I'll let you know about that. And we'll get started. So here's our cement, 336 bags, because they did short us four bags. The reason it's here and not in the spot that it's supposed to be is because the guy had this sleeper 18-wheeler, super long truck, and he was not gonna be able to get into the spot, as you can see where we're working, has a lot of trees, narrow driveway. So, don't mind my shadow. Um, as you can see, this is our friend's um, property. He's right next door to us. That's us over there. It's an old camper we have. So anyway, um, he was able to come in here. He's got a very big driveway, a very big area. And then he was able to unload here. And then there's an out mm, over there. You could go around and there's a way out. So this was the only way he can turn around and get everything in. Now, the delivery was scheduled for 10 a.m. by 10 a.m. Then it got postponed to by 6 p.m. The guy did not get here until 9 p.m. So it was a long day of waiting. Now that they're dropped here, we got to hope that the tractor can pick up the skid and bring it back and then we'll have to make eight trips. If not, we have to unload half, make like 16 trips. Okay, we're gonna try now to see if this Coyote tractor will lift this cement.
We're gonna have to unload some of these, some of these skids. Okay, so this is the mud mixer that I was telling you about. So it has, it's, that's the chute. You can adjust the water temperature by this. You throw the bag on and it breaks it with this little blade. It does have a hopper that goes on top where you can put um, extra bags on it. But we didn't get the hopper. Oh, he's talking about it now. The hopper makes five bags. Five sixties. 560 so we'll at least be able to do two to three yeah three 80 pounds 240 right these are 80 pound bags yeah, so see if it works so as you can see the water connects to it and it has a hose that you can use you do not spray the water in there the hose is just used to clean it out or if you need it somewhere else As you can see, it's going to take a while to fill all these holes. I am timing and I'll let you guys know how long it takes from start to finish. So what are you doing? Adjusting the water? Water. Less? More. It didn't come out that better. Oh, I thought you went up. I thought that was less water. Uh, I so, did do less, now I'm doing um, more. So yeah. It is on wheels, which makes it a little bit convenient to, once this spot is filled, to kind of just okay. scooch it back, which would be nice. That looks pretty good. Nice. As it so as it's going, can you just add another bag yeah. though? Yeah, I let it run out, so I don't want to keep letting it run. Okay. Yeah, but it's not mixed yet, so it's shaving. So as you can see, it is going to take a while, but my son is here, that's Franco. Say hi, Franco. <laughs> so my son, is, <laughs> my son is here, so I don't have to physically do the work. I would normally be doing this. But since it was like, you know, 80 pounds, 300 times, I was spared. And uh, Franco will get his workout in. And I don't have to. I could just be film crew today. more times and then 300. <laughs> 300 more times and I will show you how it gets to the top. <laughs> really? So once we got the hang of it and got the machine and the water right, it went a lot quicker and we were able to move along and get the consistency of the cement 
a little bit better um, as we went along. And as you could see, I was not just film crew. I did have to work. And you'll see how filthy I am toward the end. Okay, so this took us roughly about nine hours from start to finish. So that's it. We did the foundation for a 12 by 32 shed that's going to be turned into a tiny house. It is not our tiny house. It is a neighbor's tiny house uh, here in West Virginia. But the foundation is done. So now she can start on moving her little house onto it and do the inside. This mud mixer did do pretty well. Like we're pretty impressed with it. It did go really smooth and we like it. It's worth the money if you guys are, you know, doing a lot of cement and you want to make your life easier this is probably what you would need but we do like it we have our neighbor wants to do a tiny home now so uh, we'll use it for his and then of course we're going to be building our tiny home so we'll use it for ours so we have a few more things to do with it and so we should make use out of it we should make a lot of use out of it um, I helped as you can see I'm filthy so I did help and I'm sorry I can't be cute for you guys it's just not me sorry but I'll see you on the next adventure I'm not even sure what we're doing next but I keep saying I got my trip coming up in a couple weeks which I do but obviously this was first see you soon <laughs>